Okay, hi everyone. I'm Julie Perez, independent beauty trainer with Tyra Beauty. Um, everyone's been asking me to do a tutorial on how to do tie overs. So, and my last uh, periscope did not go very well because of freezing issues um, and losing sound. So, here we are. We're going to do a tutorial on how to do a tie over. Are you excited? Yay! Yes you are. You are. Now I already have on my face, um, I do have on a powder, um, I'm sorry, a mineral foundation. Um, and I do have on concealer. Um, I like to because I tend to have a Willie T-Zone. Um, with the Tyra products, the light in the stick, which you'll understand when we get to it, what it is. But when you do this, it actually creates a little shine on your face. Uh, throughout the day, you may get a little oily in those areas. Um, if you use a base or a primer or a foundation, um, this should help with that. Um, plus, some people like a little bit more all-over coverage anyway. Some people don't need it at all. Um, I am so fair-skinned. Um, and have lots of, well, not blemishes, but places in my face that um, some unevenness to take care of. So, one thing, first things first, let's um, go ahead and start. So, we're going to start with the two minute tie over. Um, well, actually, let's start with a four minute. Um, so, Two minute tire is actually the, these two items. These two items are your sculpt in a stick and light in a stick. Um, this is for contouring and sculpting. This is for highlighting and strobing. Um, and you'll see kind of more of what those do in a second. Now that's the two minute tire. To so go up to a four minute tire, you're actually going to add the cheek in a stick, which is your blusher. And it's a stick just works just like the other two. Uh, and then your eyes in a stick, which is actually um, eyeshadow. It's a cream to powder finish eyeshadow, which is actually goes on really, really awesome. So, pretty excited about that. So, we're going to start there. So, introduce you to those, those four items. And away we go. All right. Sculpting. So, um, for those of you that don't know anything about contouring, you want to find your cheekbone. I know. Go ahead and tell me. I have... Enormous cheekbones. I hear it all the time. Um, but um, you're going to want to find your cheekbone and then go just below that. So I have a nice ridge here already. You're going to take the sculpt in the stick, which is dark, and you're going to find your little ridge. You're going to go down, swipe just below that. Oops, I went a little too far. That's okay. Um, and there we go. And you should be, this is a whole lot harder because there's a little delay in my video from me putting it on my face. Kind of weird. Um, but see how you can see how this is going to sculpt out my cheekbones. And if you don't have pronounced cheekbones, this is going to help with that. Now, you're also going to want to put this maybe, just depends on you. So we'll just want to do you know, the cheekbone area. I like to go. the base, the top of the forehead, okay, let's go there, okay, and then I like to go, because I have like enormous nose, right here, right here, 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 and under the chin, right at the edge. Make sure you blend that one in really good. That is for minimizing double chin in photos. So, yes, this is going to make you look up here thinner, um, more sculpted. Um, I love it for that reason. Now, actually, you want to blend this with your middle finger. Um, and, yeah, with Tyra products, you don't use any brushes. Um, you could uh, use brushes if you wanted to, but the principal idea is that you're not going to need any brushes at any time. So, makes it very simple. So, you're just going to kind of dab and rub 
until you blend it in. And some people like to blend it a little bit more, uh, have it a little darker. Um, just want to make sure you're, you're blending it at the base a little more um, so you don't have a line. Um, the infamous makeup line, right? So, um, this color I like to blend. Uh, you might see me blending it a little bit more on me than you would on you because I'm super fair skinned. Now if you have fair skin like me, you're going to end up blending um, the sculpt a little bit longer uh, than most people. And yes, this tutorial is going to be longer than six minutes. When you are a pro at this, this should only take you six minutes from start to finish. So, but because I'm telling you where to put everything and talking through the entire thing, this is going to be a lot longer than six minutes. But we'll try to make it as short as possible. Okay. Now, I'm going to continue to blend. Get my nose. So funny, I had a customer come over here yesterday, um, and I did a makeover on her. Hey, Marie, if you're watching. Um, and I was showing her where to put the light in a stick on her face um, with my face. And I actually rubbed my face with the, the light in a stick. I didn't realize it. My husband told me later, he's like, uh, you got makeup on your face? You didn't rub it in? I was like, oh, oops. <laughs> So, yeah, that's embarrassing. All right, right now I just look a little dirty, right? No, we're just heller. I am so fair-skinned. Um, it is hard for me sometimes, but... In the end, this will look fantastic, I promise. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this in a little more. And and it's okay if you mess up your first time doing this. You can always take some, I take these to the um, palm of my hands or the back of my hand to remove a little excess <laughs> going on. Um, but you see how my face is contoured now. Now, this is just the sculpting part. Um, I'm actually going to do the cheek and a stick next because I like to do the highlighting last. So cheek and a stick after you have applied the sculpting here, you're actually going to take the cheek and the stick and you can go and start. Some people will start here. Um, I actually like to go just above where I put the line. Do you see? Okay. The delay in this video is killing me. So, and then you're going to use the same finger um, to blend this in the same way. And you're like thinking, oh my god, this girl looks like a clown. Well, that might be true. I might be a clown actually, but I will not look like one when I'm done. <laughs> um, those of you that know me know I'm pretty goofy. I like to goof off. I like to have fun. Um, that's just who I am. So, and again, if you have any excess or some spots that you're not sure about, okay. So yeah, beautiful. Okay. So next, we're gonna go on to. Light in the stick. Light in the stick is, can you see it? Let's see how the light is catching it. So that's what it's going to do to your face. And you're going to want it to highlight 
pretty much almost everywhere where you didn't put the sculpt or cheek in the stick. So, for me, this is where this is going to go for me. I'm actually going to start right here and go up like this. And I over here like that. And then I go here. I do like a little star pattern on my forehead. And then I go straight down my nose. And then um, your cupid's bow, which is right here, you're going to take it and do a little bit right here. Okay. And then down the middle of my chin. And then I also go just below my cheekbone to give it a little bit more definition to the cheekbones. Okay, so <clears throat> then we're going to blend it with not your middle finger, but your ring finger. So, and blend. And this one you want to blend up. <laughs> oh, I need to go to bed. And if you want to be a little bit more dewy um, in some places, you're going to add a little bit more um, where you think you need it. Um, I like to go, um, sometimes afterwards, put a little, after I do my eyebrows, um, put a little under my eyebrows to get a little bit more definition. And... I almost always forget to blend <laughs> underneath the cheekbone um, because it's so light you barely even see it. And here we go. So that is your almost done with the four minute tie over. Now, eyes in the stick. Super easy. Um, there are different ways to apply this or where you want to apply it. Rather, there's only really one way to apply it. I like to go above or like right in my crease and actually just do a small little section right here. And you're like, oh. Uh, Julie, are you sure you want that there? My delay in my video is killing me. Okay, so, and then you're just going to blend it with your finger. Now this time you're going to use your pinky finger, pinky finger, because obvious reasons it is a smaller area to cover. And you're just going to kind of pat again and rub. Very light. And for me, that where I'm covering right now, I'm actually going to go crease and up. Some people start at the lid um, here and go up to the crease. Um, and they use multiple colors. I like to start at the crease because, uh, well, I just do. Depends on my mood. Um, if you want a darker, smokier look, then you need to start on the lid. Okay, one done. Let's 
pretty good. Now we're going to come in and same thing. Now, all these people that tell me they struggle with eyes, this should not be an issue. I'm pretty sure you can follow that crease in your lid and just rub your finger on it up. And as long as you're looking even, You should be fine. You see how easy that was? It was super easy. Yay! Okay, so don't mind me, I'm a nut. Alright. So oh no, avalanche. I'm losing all the product. Who wants me to do my eyes? Because I know I look crazy without any mascara on. My eyelashes are blonde. And every time I'm not wearing makeup, someone asks me if I'm sick and I can't stand that. So, you won't catch me very often without any eye makeup on. <laughs> um, but actually first, before I move on to my eyes, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Because I love, love, love this Menage Brow. Yeah, you heard me right. Menage Brow. Um... Pencil. It is so easy to use. Um, I, like I showed my friend that was here yesterday, um, her eyebrows are pretty thin and we just fixed them right up and the results were fantastic and I never have any problem. Now, my eyebrows, um, I pluck. Yes, no, I don't have them waxed. Um, I have plucked them forever <laughs> um, and I'll probably continue to pluck them. Um, but, um, I really don't need this end this much. This is actually the defining end. You see, I have a little tip. Um, you actually use this end to go around, where is my brow? Around the outside of the eye, um, brow. You go like pretty much, you know, you're coloring when you're little and you used to color around the outside edge first and then you filled it in. It's the same way. So you're going to go around this with the outside, follow your lines, and then you're going to come back in with the comb side. It has three tips. You see, can you see that? There you go. Um, and the purpose of this is so it looks more natural. So when you're actually doing your eyebrow it looks more like um hairs so go see the difference and this is actually the brunette i know i'm done by the way i'm actually going to have to get up to the little mirror because this delay is killing me next time i'll use my phone even though it looks funny So I mess up. I'm so sorry. So I can see the immediate difference. Um, one's just a little bit darker than the other one. Um, one is a little bit more pronounced than the other. But again, pretty natural looking. Um, and if it goes a little too dark, don't panic. You think it's a little too dark and you're not used to it yet. But... Again, you can always lighten it up with a powder, some kind of, um, maybe you have some eyeshadow powder. You can always try, there's always ways to correct things. Um,
one of the most important things about eyebrows is getting them even. Right? Because you don't want to have two different eyebrows. Okay, well mine aren't completely even, but they're close. You see that? I almost messed up. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, that's your menage a brow. If you have trouble with your brows, this is awesome. I love it. Okay, now, on to eyeliner. <laughs> it's so exciting. Okay, so I love, we have two different eyeliners. Um, there is the Cole liner, which is a duo. It has two tips. One tip is the Catch the Man tip. It's black, by the way. Uh, and the other is the Nude In, which is called Meet the Parents. Um, I think they actually call it a cream beige or something. Um, and then we have our Oops liner. And it is a liquid liner. Oops. That happens sometimes. Um, let's see the tip. Very easy to use. Don't be afraid. You can use this. I promise. Because if you do mess up, guess what? There is a corrector sign. This actually will erase if you mess up your eyeliner. I love it. But I'm not going to use that today on me. I'm going to use the coal. Um, now, I like coal liner for a couple reasons. One, it goes on pretty smoothly for me. But... Um, I usually start with the bottom, and I might not be able to do this on here. Oh, this delay is killing me. I'm going to stab myself in the eye. It's not like real time. I don't understand this. It's like a half second delay. Let me see if I can use my phone while I'm using the camera. Is this going to be odd? I don't know. We'll find out. What do you think? There we go. That is so much better. Okay, so I start at the corner of my eye and I come in. Um, let's go halfway today. So I'm going to come in to about halfway. See where the edge of my eye is? I usually stop about there. Um, having the line taper so the line is thicker towards the corner. Julie do next. I actually start at the bottom and go. Now there's different kinds of wings. Sometimes I go. Oh, I lost my camera feed down there. Um, sometimes I go. See, so see this little line where the eyeshadow stops. Sometimes I go kind of a not down. We're gonna go follow that line. And then, we're going to fix a spot that I see that's not right. <laughs> and then you're going to essentially come in. And connect the dots pretty much. So, mm. let me pause it. Can you not pause it? Mm. Of course you can. Why can't you? I just have to edit it later. Okay, sorry guys. I had to step away for a minute because, um, there's a little slight time delay for some reason in what I'm seeing on my screen. And that was causing a me to mess up really bad on my eyes. Um, you know, it's crucial to be able to see where you're pointing your pencil. 
So, uh, now I finished my eyes. Um, though everything I was saying was true. Um, you can see now that I've got them all nice and pretty. Um, I'm probably going to have to pause it again because here comes my three-year-old. Sir? I'm right here recording. So, now that I've done my eyeliner, all that's left is to do is smite my fat lash. Yeah, you heard me. That's the name of our mascara. <laughs> Smack my fat lash. Um, it's dual sided. It has blue on one side and black on the other. One is for lengthening. One is for volumizing. It is so fantastic. Um, and you only need one tube. So, um, I usually do two coats, but one tube... Um, it is amazing. So you'll see. Alright, so here we go. And hopefully I can do this part without messing up. And you're going to see, I have no eyelashes while they're blonde. So, when they actually get something on them. Oh, there they are. Ooh. Okay. So. And from this angle, you're probably like, eh, it's okay. Um, but again, this is not a new tube. Can you see them? Yeah, so that's just one coat. Um, and then we're going to go again on the other side. And I'm going to go back and do a second coat. I need to get a new tube. Is it messed? So I have pretty full lashes, but they're not very long. So you can see. I know. There they are. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my bottom coat. Um, I don't do a whole lot on the bottom. I'm not going to go in and find every single lash. I really just kind of stay to the corner. Now, that that's drying, I'm going to come back on the second coat. Alright. I just touched my face with a wand. Touch my wing with the wand. Yeah, I'm gonna sing a little song for you guys. Maybe do a little dance later. I'm just kidding. 
No dancing. No dance for you. And... Can you see them? Is all done. Now, what's left to do? Oh, my lips. My lips, you say? Yes. Well, we have two, well, currently three. And I dropped the lid for this. Where's the lid for this? There it is. Um, we have two <coughs> current. We also have the um, Suede and Juicy um, that just dropped yesterday for sample sale. Um, they're $10 right now. Go get you some before they're gone. Uh, comes in two different colors, but I don't have those yet to show you. Sorry. I just have what lipstick. That's right. What lipstick. This is, um, I think it's Younger Man. Yeah, Younger Man. Um, and then this is our lip model. Lip model has, um, a little bit of glitter. It's a little bit more of a sparkly, fun color. There is, um, Hater Blocker. That's not this one. This is, a. Uh, what it takes so um <clears throat> and it's a really 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 pink i know you can't really see it from here but it's pretty pink Brittany schroeder would like this if you watch this video i'm calling you out giving you a shout out Brittany schroeder would love that color um so younger man is a nude rose um it goes on very nicely I'm going to show you both, because I actually wear both. So this is love you guys. Um, younger man. I don't really do neutral nude colors usually. Um, so maybe I should, but I like to be loud. So, so we're going to go back over with uh, what's the one again? Uh, what it takes. So, what it takes is really fun. I usually don't do pinks that like more reds, but um, you can see. Can't really tell it's super pink here, but it is. The light in my bathroom is kind of weird. Mm, but now you see how I am done. This is it. Um, I know this took a lot longer than six minutes because I had some some issues. But um, and if you want, at the end you can go back over with a powder. Um, if you feel like you're oily or whatnot. Um. Also, I told you earlier, sometimes I like to go back under. My eyebrow with a, either with a light color eyeshadow, which we don't have one yet. Or sometimes I use this pencil. Under. So you can see it kind of just, kind of. Gives you a little bit more of a line. And love you guys. Thank you for watching me do this. Was really messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I can let my bangs down now. How about it? This girl's anyway. Alrighty. We're all done. Thanks for watching. Bye.